to have known him. And on the warm spring day, Rory Buchanan died. His friend, a beautiful young black gay man, laid down on the ground outside of the funeral home and let out a gut-wrenching scream. He just laid down on the ground, rolled back and forth as he cried. He did what we all felt but didn't have the courage to do, expressed in his actions a battle fatigue, weariness of a young community that had lost so many of its own. This might have been one month before we lost poet Donald Woods and members of a black, lesbian, and gay community poured into a packed church, hot, humid, with no outlet, it seemed. Poet Asato Saint stood more than six foot five in heels, but on that day he wore a man suit and performed an act of exorcism in protest when he assailed the pulpit, took over and said Donald Woods did not die of heart failure. He died of AIDS. He was a proud black gay man. If you agree with me, stand up. And so today, Whitney Houston is gone. Etta James, my idol, the soul train man who shot himself, Don Cornelius, Heavy D, Howard Tate, Michael Jackson, Heath Ledger, Anna Nicole, Amy Winehouse, so many who helped us know who we are and were. But today I don't want any lavish displays of grief and protest to do as they did in a black church when spirit took hold. You could see a weighted 300 pound body fly up and dance. Today I want none of what happened with Rory or Donald. Today I just want to breathe breath, let go, pass pain, grief, be the girl I was, leap up, sing, dance, not care, let my tongue turn blue, eating an icy, walk down the street carrying a boom box, to feel like I do when snow falls, taking that first big gulp of something new, the way I feel every time I board the plane to Africa or Europe and I'm racing over stalls and stalls uh, filled with beauty and mystery, to feel with myself the way students express feeling with me, eyes opened, it affects everything, to feel the way I do walking up the hill to a new school like a traveling preacher filled up with message. Today, I want to release all the things I could, should have said to be the student who said I changed everything even at home, my teachings made him grow up, become a better and new man. I had just begun to relax, celebrate the marriage equality ruling. I had just begun feeling with Obama. I was watching Ali in trouble off the ropes, delivering to his opponent the rope of dope, my father's <laughs> eyes, excitement. I was just beginning to breathe air, feel exhilarated at images of Joe Biden and President Obama running down the halls of the White House with rainbow flags like boys with kites soaring. <laughs> I was just beginning to forgive deaths of my brothers to AIDS, not forget there should still be tribunals for them and every woman abused by the medical system. I had just begun to turn a corner on Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, the massacre at AME, and to not think of it all every day. And then the police killed this young black girl in custody in Texas, claimed she committed suicide. And I remember we're a war nation in war times. I imagine how James Bayard Nina felt seeing a nation turn its dogs, teeth, gas, hoses, bullets on children, adults, humor, humans. I can't stop thinking about Steve Biko, his battered face. They say he hung himself to the world's outrage. Who will pray for us now? America. And um, I guess I'm going to read the end of... Uh, of an article that I wrote on Caitlyn Jenner. Um, and, um, and actually it's a story that Jim told me. Um, so, lastly, as Morpheus warns Neo in the Matrix, reality is difficult to face. As I watch Caitlyn Jenner at the ESPY Awards, I'm aware that many of the shoulders he, she stands upon did not die as heroes. Their pictures were not beautiful and retouched. They did not have publicity agents or courage awards, nor were they given purple hearts. They died as lepers that few in society wanted to embrace. Some of the boys I met and worked with in Boston became like the people in war-torn countries. They became the disappeared. I never heard or saw from, uh, or heard from or saw many of them again. A lot of the young people I learned from at Hedrick Martin are dead now. I remember some, Khalid and Frankie, 
Many hundreds and thousands died in the Reagan and Bush eras at the hands of the Republican Party. Caitlyn Jenner publicly embraces, gives money to, and is called her own. <laughs> Many died in hospital wards that were practically quarantined off that doctors and nurses did not want to touch. Those who were abandoned and forgotten but banded together to celebrate the new year. And one friend told me recently another story about the famous black gay poet of Sato Saint who had gone to see his lover in the hospital, a beautiful blonde boy who had withered down to nothing. Asato knew his lover was ashamed and he asked my friend Jim, what should I do before he entered the room and hold him? Jim answered, just hold him. So I know that behind Caitlyn Jenner is another story, thousands of stories, just as when you go to the slave forts in West Africa, like Cape Coast Castle, you see that those shores and waters there are like unmarked graves, unspoken testimonies of those whose lives were forfeited and martyred so that we might be free.